Hello everyone, this video tutorial is about analysis of thick plate. So this is a thick plate, simply supported at all edges and is subjected to a load of 1000 pounds. This, this is solved example in chapter 11 of introduction to finite element analysis using MATLAB and Abacus. So that's in chapter 11 thick and thin and thick plates and that is the problem it is 11.6.1 uh, this is a thick plate analysis using eight node quadrilateral element so a simply supported square plate is shown in this figure so Find the deflection at the center if the plate is subjected to a concentrated load of 1000 pounds and also given in the uh, newtons. The size of plate is 36 by 36 inch squared and the thickness is 0.25. It is made up of steel with modulus of elasticity as 30 into 10 to raise per 6 pound per square inch and its Poisson's ratio is 0.3. So this plate uh, can be modeled as a full plate or it can be modeled as a quarter plate or a half plate so because all edges are simply supported load is acting at the center so it can be modeled as a full plate or it can be modeled as a half plate like this way or a half plate like this way or just a quarter plate so in this uh, video, I am going to analyze quarter plate. So when I am going to analyze quarter plate, so the load in that quarter plate will be ha a quarter of this, so 25 pounds. And then the dimensions of that will be, uh, this plate will become half of that is 18 times by 18. And this sides two sides are simply supported and other two sides the uh, boundary conditions will become symmetric x metric and y symmetric so first of all uh, here i have uh, steps for modeling so you can use units as newton meter and pascal or you can use pound inch and psi because units here are given in uh, like in so you can use them in meters or newton millimeter and then mega pascal so third set you can use so i am going to use uh, here inch the second set which is inch uh, pound inch and psi so the actual dimensions which is uh, for this plate are 18 by 18 so then these are the steps so first you need to set work directory i want to save everything in that folder chapter 12 so just copy it and then file set work directory okay and then i'm going to name that model so rename it as that is chapter 11 plate okay and then i'll save it as save as cie chapter 11 plate so this one is being saved cae that is being you can see that you have air cae and gnl file for that one so now uh, in the next step uh, you need to create part so part this can be modeled as shell planer or shell extrusion i'm going to show both how to model it as shell planer or shell extrusion so here in the part double click on the part and then it is the part name is let's say plate and it is 3d deformable shell and first I'm going to do it as planar. And approximate size of that, because the total 
width of that is like uh, 18 so i am going to double it so like as 40 so let's say that is 40 so and then shell section for planner shell and i'll use either that rectangle or connected line so let's say rectangle each side of 18 inch so that is here and then that i'll have 18 inch cancel procedure and then you can check dimensions select the identities to dimension so that is done so you can see that both dimensions are 18 and 18 okay and then cancel procedure done and this is you have in xy plane so that is you'll have in xy plane and that is what is given in the problem so that is in xy plane and then uh, load is along z axis so this is how you can create that part as as shell planner now you can also create this part as i am going to delete that plate and now again i am going to do it as plate 3d deformable shell and extrusion so for this extrusion you need to create an edge and then you need to extrude that okay so for extrusion it has and let's say i'm going to create any of that edge which is 18 inches so from this line so that is 18 inches okay and then i can check its dimensions so that one so then so it's a horizontal line and that is done so sh shell uh, sketch the section for shell extrusion is done okay and then it's asked that uh, here end condition and de depth of that so for extrusion its depth is 18 inches okay so that is now i got that shell extrusion but this plate is in x z direction okay so once you have created that so the, that is shell with shell extrusion so the next step is you need to create material and material for that is uh, steel and modulus of elasticity is 30 into 10 to raise power 6 and then poisson's ratio is 0.3 so property and then here you have material as steel and then its modulus of elasticity as 30 into 10 to raise power 6 and then poisson's ratio is 0.3 okay so that material has been created now the next one you need to create section and it is let's say plate section and it is shell homogeneous continue and then uh, its shell thickness so shell thickness is 0.25 inch so 0.25 and the material is steel okay so then and next step after that is assign section so for here you have a sign section no need of creating any set so select that one and done so that is plate section and shell type is shell homogeneous so that is now you'll have that plate section so the next one step you need to create mesh and that is seed mesh part and then assign element type so so then in the mesh mesh part uh, seed part so it says that select the data globally seed so here so approximate size is two inches let's say 
apply okay and then that is mesh next one is assign element type so you'll have here shell in the family standard linear and quadratic with the reduced integration a four node doubly curved thin or thick shell so uh, the standard one is s4 or s8 so s8 that is thick shell that is only uh, for thick shell with the reduced integration and then degree of freedom that is 6 and in the linear one so it is s 4 r it can be used for both thin and thick shell so let's say i am using that s 4 r which is which can be used for thick shells okay so now once it's being done then the next one is in cre assembly create instance and that you have uh, instance as plate now uh, for this plate it is in x z direction this is in x z direction but here it is in x y direction so this is just a new feature that how you can rotate that in x from x z to x y direction so in assembly you have translate instance module or you have rotate instance module so what i am trying to do i am uh, rotating this plate along that edge i am going to rotate that along this edge so rotate so it's a select an axis or a start point so that is a start point and then that is the end point so i am going to rotate about these two now the angle of rotation is 90 so the usual rotation is counterclockwise so if it is being rotated as counterclockwise it will be 270 or minus 90 so it is 270 and now this one is being rotated so now it is in xy plane so that is now in xy plane and that is the z axis is shown there so the next step is in the steps you need to uh, create a point load and point load static uh, but procedure type is journal and then static journal continue and that's it now this is the region and now the next one is to apply load and load is being applied right in the center and we are going to design a model quarter plate so that is our region and the load is being applied opposite to z direction and it will be 250 pounds so load here is the uh, uh, let's say load and step is point load and that's a concentrated force continue and select a point of load so that is a point of load and the load is being applied opposite to z direction so that is minus 250 pounds so you can see that it is being applied opposite to z now the load is being applied so the next one are the boundary conditions so boundary conditions for uh, are simply supported along x axis and along y axis so let's say the first one applying boundary condition about so that is boundary conditions that is initial displacement and rotation to about that x axis so uh, the selection of boundary condition for these type of shell problems are quite tricky so the first we know it let, let, let's select this one okay because it's simply supported so it can't move in z direction so we need to uncheck that u3 and then it can rotate along x-axis so as it can rotate along x-axis but it can't rotate about 
y and z axis so these two need to be uh, that need to be restricted so u3 then u r2 and u r3 they are being restricted so that is the first one okay then the second boundary condition again here that is being selected and for this one it can't move along z axis so u3 is zero and then it can rotate about y axis so this one will not be zero u r2 but rest two they are zero so now these are the uh, simply supported boundary condition along x and along y now the next one is this side here uh, symmetric boundary conditions need to be used and this edge is perpendicular to x axis so this one will be x symmetric this edge is perpendicular to y axis so that will be y symmetric so for these boundary condition symmetric anti symmetric and in casture continue so this edge is perpendicular to x axis so here the boundary conditions are x symmetric and then next one that is perpendicular to y axis so the boundary conditions are y symmetric here okay so now once you have done all that and then i can so here i have done all that and then the analysis part create job data check and then submit so in the jobs create job and it is the name of it is chapter 11 plate continue okay and then you can see here a job has been created so i can check submit it for data check first so data check submitted then data check running and then and that's completed okay so once data check complete i'll submit it for analysis okay over to Uh, okay to overwrite so it will be submitted then it's running it's completed now and then i can go to the results to visualize it the results so now that is here that is a plate so i can check that one so that is the uh, one my sis stresses here that is one my sis stresses and then let's say because we are looking for deflection and the deflection in that is like in the z direction so u3 and u3 that is the deflection and deflection is 0.35 inch at the center okay so you can also check for the stresses one my sis stresses so that are the in x direction these are in y direction that are in z direction and then and then you can check that other like rotations so these are the rotations you are one then that is the rotation you are two that is the rotation you are three so but our main concern here is to find out stress uh, deflection in y direction so that is the deflection So that is somewhere minus at uh, that's a maximum at this point so you can create report or you can actually further analyze it i hope uh, you like this video tutorial thank you very much for watching and you can leave comments for your feedback